Hello and welcome back to another episode of Carol Space Program. My name is Seth. In the last episode we were able to get some science and some money from doing a few experiments around Kerbin um, in the atmosphere. And that's now given us 79, sorry, 69 science. So let's have a look at what we can get. Now we can get the general construction to get the strut, uh, to get struts and the stability enhancers. Uh, we can also get advanced rocketry for a larger fuel tank. But what I think I might do is I'll save it so I can get the solar cells um, in order to fire this stay put. So we might just do a few more little experiments. Okay, so we've got a couple uh -huh. here that we should be able to do around about the same time. We've got test the Mark 16 parachute at 23 kilometers high uh -huh. and test the solid rocket boosters at 17 k's. So we'll accept those two contracts. So we can. So what I need to do is launch the solid rocket booster. But that doesn't need fuel. And it will still complete the objective even though it doesn't have fuel. So we'll throw on some liquid fuel engines. With the parachutes. And some batteries. So this should fix up the staging. This should work. So we're going to also fire the solid, uh, fire the liquid fuel engines, get to the right height, fire the solid rocket booster. There's no fuel, so it'll just do nothing. But we'll keep going up on the liquid fuel boosters until we get to the correct height and then we'll set off the parachutes. Alright, let's see what happens.
parachutes, but because they're uh, we're too high and the atmosphere is too thin, they won't come out. So time accelerate. Ooh. So our apoapsis is 35, so we're starting to come down now. not a problem. So there we have just a really simple flight to get science from around Kerbin's atmosphere. Very successful. And again, another short episode. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye.